I am Danielle Flores Lopez, she, her pronouns, and I am an academic life coach at Michigan State University. I've been advising for over 15 years now. I've always tried to participate in ways that would advance the work that I do with students. I was watching a webinar through a professional um, advising association. It was on coaching and just seeing how excited the folks were that were presenting and that there was this other way to interact with students uh, really inspired me. Um, it wasn't advising, it wasn't therapy. And so I became really excited to learn more and I started researching more about coaching opportunities. Coach Training EDU was an opportunity that was affordable for professional development for my university to receive certification from uh, the International Coaching Federation. What I think this can bring to the institution is another opportunity for ways to work with students for advancement in student success and receiving that certification and seeing positive outcomes from working with students is another uh, benefit for any institution. What I sometimes felt with advising was that the appointments were 30 minutes or less. We have many students to work with. There are several different advising styles. It's hard sometimes to fit so much in um, of what the student is asking, what we need to share with students. And a lot of times we view the advisor as that expert on that major or the information the student is seeking. When I move towards coaching, one thing that I, I, I really like about it is that the student moves to that expert area, that the student is the one driving the, the conversation. I schedule the appointment for one hour and I, I make that a priority. And so working with students in coaching and academic life coaching, I think it's very, very important to make a distinction to students, to colleagues around the campus when you start bringing the life coaching, academic life coaching into your institution, into your meetings. Because we hear the words coaching, we hear the words um, academic coaching even used so many times. And it's not the same thing as academic life coaching. When you have the training, when you have this uh, background to pull from when you can use these powerful questions and schedule the time and work with the students for several weeks for a semester. Um, and you can see that growth. It's just very rewarding. I had the opportunity to not only be trained by my two trainers, I also had the opportunity for the founder to uh, train us one evening. And additionally, we were trained by an international trainer from Mexico, which I did not expect. So having the opportunity to have all of these diverse folks train us was really eye-opening. And I would encourage anyone interested to have that um, diverse perspective to take advantage of academic life coaching or life coaching overall so that others can see themselves represented in those that are training them. From the beginning, when we again were immersed in being trained and being um, coached, that I learned that it was okay to be vulnerable, that it's okay to open up. That's not something that I usually would do that quickly with a group of people that I didn't know but I knew that I was gonna be asking others. I was gonna be asking students who maybe I knew or did not know to trust me, to work with me in this process. And I really wanted to give everything 
to this process. I never wanted to miss a class. I, I read all the material. It was a fully engaged student. And um, I think that that just really made so much more of a difference with that mindset going into this and, and having that um, mindset throughout the whole experience. I think coaching has impacted me in a few different ways. When I was going through the training, I didn't exactly know everything to expect. And not only learning about coaching, but being coached really allowed me to have an appreciation for the profession. To get that immediately, it just really, it is transformational. It, it did allow me to think about different opportunities that I could have for myself, both personally and professionally, and how I could grow as a person. So um, I think coaching is it, very meaningful for personal and professional growth. I have been a big advocate for it, and I've really shared this opportunity with family and friends. It's just, again, given me another opportunity to be able to express myself, be able to pause, reflect, to think deeper, and to be able to grow overall. I would say to someone younger than me, if I was a student, I would say, take advantage of this opportunity. Learn what coaching is, learn how it can benefit you, it's a free opportunity to you here at the university. If I, if I were saying this to someone younger than me that is a colleague, I would say if this professional development opportunity is available to you, again, take advantage of it. Um, you never know where it could lead you both internally in the institution and externally in your personal life um, and what it can do for you if you want to grow a business personally and or personally being coached. I have uh, shared, of course, my experience at, at coach training EDU uh, and how just, and again, enthusiastic I've been about it and, and the benefits I see from it. But I definitely tell them, you know, please take your time. There's lots of companies out there that offer the training, set up a session, see who you would be best fit with, um, talk to the folks at that organization, both inside and outside of the organization. We can use this in different ways. So again, it's just about, um, I think, information gathering overall. I think one of my favorite tools overall is the life wheel. And so doing that exercise with students in the beginning and having them aim the different wedges to see what uh, takes up the main parts of their life. I really like starting there. I always like to, to weave something fun into the, the coaching sessions. So whether it is asking about what their favorite character is or their favorite flower or their favorite color, something fun that when they're going throughout the week, they can remember that and remember how that relates to their academic life coaching session. I'm gonna say that one of my biggest influences is always my husband. He is an amazing partner. He has defied all odds, I feel like in life, whatever has been thrown at him. And he's made it so much easier for me to reach my goals throughout life. And it's been just a wonderful journey that we've had together over the last um, 14 years. I know that there is a possibility to have DEI training in the future, and DEI is, is very important to me. We had a professor in college, professor or Dr. Margie Lassay Rodriguez. It was while I was in my master's program, and she made herself available to the Latino students on campus. And that was very important for, for anyone um, that identified in that way to have someone like her when there really wasn't that many. 
folks at the institution at that time. I just always appreciated how I could meet with her in her office, how she was an advisor for an organization I was a part of, um, and how she always just took the time to make us feel comfortable, to help us in any way that we needed. She was the first person that called me doctor um, before I even knew what a PhD was or that I would be getting one someday. So she holds, definitely holds an important place in my heart.